How are you doing? Big welcome to the joy of pouring. Uh, hello from me, Frosty, and my fantastic, beautiful partner, Vanna Swipe, right here. Big shout out to everybody that was already waiting in the live chat. So that's our, our dear, beloved OG Beans. Thank you so much, guys. A big hi to everybody there. I'll go through the chat in Vanna's phone in a minute and say hi to everyone. But welcome to the memorial show, the memorial show for our dear, lovely, departed friends, uh, Tina, Tina Wheaton. Uh, and that's Eureka Bean from uh, our group, The Acrylic Crazy Train. If you don't know what that is, please check us out on Facebook and join our group, The Acrylic Crazy Train. Um, yes, Tina, Tina Wheaton, beloved Eureka Bean, uh, beloved mother of uh, Danielle, uh, Danielle uh, Boatsman, who's also going to be in the live chat as well. So a big shout out to her as well. Uh, and this is a memorial show. So obviously, yes, we're mourning the loss of our friends and we're supporting our dear friend Danielle here as well. But it needn't... Obviously, there'll probably be some tears, I don't doubt, because I'm a very emotional person. But it's a joyous memory. It's a joy. It's a celebration of, of, of her. She was a wonderful supporter of the show, wonderful supporter of... Are, are, and especially when we were doing the uh, charity shows, she was a tremendous supporter of that. She was. Yeah, she's Danielle's best friend, and they would both watch the show together. And Danielle, darling, I don't want to make you cry, but I know that, 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 that Tina is watching the show with us right now because she wouldn't miss this at all for the world. So that's what this is all about. So thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Um, and this show is all about the purples because her favourite colour was Purple. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, let's just chat that quick. Uh, please subscribe because when you can subscribe, you can... You can comment in the live chat. You can interact, you can like our videos and liking is really important. The more likes we get, the more likely uh, YouTube is to uh, suggest our videos to people that haven't seen them. So please subscribe uh, and have some fun in the live chat with everybody else there. So, I guess we could just go straight into last week's canvases or, or last yeah. last week's canvases. So, here you go. I will hold up Vanna's beautiful swipe that happened there. But as you can see, we had some cracking. But to be honest, I like it. I think it's really good. I yeah. told her to get, we've got some white marker pens and if she really outlines all of it beautifully, it would be really cracking. But as you see, it came out beautifully, but apart from it cracked. Now, why did it crack? It's because uh, we put too much black paint in the mix uh, of the black paint that we covered this with because we were doing the Jessica, or what we know as the Jessica Winterstrom. Uh, Application technique. Yeah, where you pour all the colours on a paddle and you just put a big swab of colours down and then cover it with black and then swipe. But yeah, this happened because uh, there was too much black in the paint. So that then made me start thinking, right, okay, how much paint do you actually put in uh, the colour that you cover all of your colours with before you then put the cell activator on. Because, you know, I've seen Shelley do it, I've seen um, Jessica do it. I've not seen all of her videos, and I'm sure in some of them she may explain, but I didn't pick up. But the consistency of that colour that you cover all your colours with before you swipe is very important. And how much of the Amsterdam acrylic paint do we put in our pouring medium? So I did some experiments and came out with this one, as I'm sure you guys saw uh, on the social medias. Uh, and as this one worked out really nicely, you can see the black worked beautifully. It held the cell activator. So how much of the Amsterdam paint do you put in your pouring medium? So it's two and a half milliliters of the Amsterdam paint for two ounces of pouring medium, okay guys? And then that will be a little bit kind of thick and I add just a little bit of water to it as well, because it was, as we know, adding water to uh, the Amsterdam paint makes a great cell activator on its own. So just putting a bit of water in that mix of that last color that you pour over all of your colors before the cell activator just helps it work with the cell activator and, and is really groovy. So let's get these things out of the way. Okay. <laughs> I will stop waffling. They are here for your waffles. Oh, bless them. I, they, they are absolute darling. So, eh, the purples. I'll go through them quickly for Vanna. If Vanna wants to give some shout outs I to do. people in the live chat, Vanna is using this fantastic dioxazine purple uh, from Liquitex. She is then going to use this fantastic TLP called Constellation. Look at that. It's just this most glorious royal, crown royal purple colour. If, uh, if you like your. If you like your, is it whiskey crown royal or bourbon? 
Uh, whiskey. Whiskey. Anyway, next next color Vanna is using is this one, Deja Vu from uh, TLP. Fantastic. Uh, and this is a black light reactive purple. Then she, she chose such a fabulous color palette. Then we've got Pinwheel here by TLP. It's beautiful kind of lavender color with a blue flash. And then she's going to be covering it in uh, the um, uh, Amsterdam Standard Acrylic. And this is the permanent blue violet. So it's this most glorious, glorious deep purple color. And then she's gonna swipe with some gold cell activator over the top of it, so it should be. It's gonna be very pretty. It should be really pretty, really, really, really pretty. And we're gonna pour on these 10 inch rounds right here. And if we make things that are really pretty, we're going to offer them to uh, Danielle, if she would like them, or, yeah. or, or uh, yeah, something like that. Um, because I think that would be a nice thing to do. I agree. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, let's get the camera pointing yeah. down. Enjoys the waffles, says Nelvia. Hi, Nelvia, bless her heart. Sorry, guys, one second while I just move this about. Too fly. Da, 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 and get it nice and centered, because you know me about centering the shot. That looks about good. Oh, let's give a big shout out to Fluid Art Company, a, of course. A big shadow. Yep, yep. Bingo. That's it. Oops. I was just turning the presenting light off, so now we don't really have a shadow. You see? There we go. Oh, better. Yes. There we go. Okie dokie. Let me just get Banner's colours up and ready for her. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. So, you know what you're doing, my sweetheart? Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> right, do you want me to do the pillow or do you want to do the pillow? Give her. Give her? Give, yeah. her, the, give her the pillow? Okay, so we're going to put down... Dun, 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 dun. That's a good amount of pillow because we're only going to lay colours down kind of in the middle two-thirds of the canvas. And that's going to give us a lovely base that when we spin this out, we're going to get just the beautiful stuff in the middle. Now, are you just going to swipe, Vanna, or are you going to do some scoops and drags? Oh, I don't know yet. <laughs> we see shall how see. she feels. We shall see. Right, okay, guys, please let me know. Oh, that looks like a good... Yeah. We could go in a bit closer, maybe. Oh, no, now we're off a bit, but... There we go. Let me go dark to light. Dark to light. Yes, cool. Dark Excellent. Light. I would do that. That's a really good one. Excellent. Well, we've got 24 people in the live chat. Oh. Hi, everybody. So, big shout out to Nelvia. Hi there, darling Nelvia. And TLP, of course. This little pig in Fluid Art Co. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for your support. You know we couldn't do this without your, your support and your help. Judy is in the live chat. Hi there, Judy. And of course, darling Linda, uh, Le Chatterbot is in the, in the live chat. Brit's in the live chat. Hi there, darling Brit. Uh, Vanna was in your live chat for your show just before. Sorry, my phone was all set up, ready to go. Uh, but you know, I was there in spirit and I love you very much. Um, Janice is here. Oh, our lovely Jan Bean. Hi there, Jan Bean. Jeanette is here. Hi, Jeanette. Darling, hi, Simon Vanna. Hi again, everybody. Oh, bless your hearts. Deborah is here. Devil Bean. Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? Uh, George Ann. Hi, George Ann. How are you doing, my friend? Lovely to see you in here. Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Jan C. Jan. Hi, Jan. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. That's really great of you. Thanks. I know the time changed where you are. It's quite late, so thank you for joining us Jan and Tara's here really stunning her painting it is a fantastic painting wasn't it Tara absolutely gorgeous uh, SJ SJ uh, SJ SJ pour in color um I asked you your name SJ and, I, and you told me I want to say Sarah but I don't know if that's right but hi SJ pour in color and Carl's here again oh Carl Hi from Northern Germany. Carl, thank you so wow. much for joining us. That's really late in Northern Germany there. Gail is here. Hi, Gail. Bless your heart. Thank you for joining us. We love our beans. And there's Danielle. Hi, tiny bean, sweetheart. Thank you for joining us, my dear. And Denise is here. Denise Bado. Hi, Denise. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while, too. Thank you for joining us, Denise. And Heather's hi, rainbow bean, darling. I know you're having a hard time right now, Heather, so you're in our thoughts all the time right now. You really are, bless you. And thanks for joining us, sweetheart. Who else is This is, is going here? to be so pretty. 
I'm not even watching. I'm looking at the things here. What's the recipe again? Uh, for uh, ah, the recipe we're using here for a pouring medium is uh, two to one, uh, two parts of the uh, uh, Bear 8300 to one part of the Joe Sonia. And then the paint that we put on at the end, the black paint, is one to one pouring medium with two and a half milliliters of the Amsterdam paint. And we do it that way. We thin the pouring medium down because the Amsterdam paint is so thick, it gives us the perfect consistency at that ratio. So one to one for the last color that we pour over all of them before we then do our cell activator over the top rainbows. I hope that's right. Purples definitely rock, of course they do, Brit. Absolutely. <laughs> do you like purple sassy, says Barbara. <laughs> oh, I love the banter you guys have in this live chat. It's so much fun to watch back. The only pain in the butt is um, uh, YouTube checks the live chat. So if you don't catch the live chat while the while the live is actually happening, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. It takes sometimes it's been up to a couple of days before I can watch the show back with the live chat, so I can read it all and see who was there and everything like that. So who else is here? I think I said pretty much hello to everybody. That's oh, GE is here. Hi there, GE. Gail. Hi, Gail, sweetheart. How are you doing? Bless your heart. Hi, Simon Banner says Denise Bedo. Oh, bless. You guys are just such lovely. Oh, Daniel says, thank you, Simon Banner, for doing this show in memory for my mum. It's, it's our absolute pleasure to do so, Daniel. There's a lot of paint on here. There is a lot of paint. That's cool because, you know, that's how it's going to happen. I'm going to cover everything with purple. Cover it all with purple, purple again. Yeah, love it. Laurie's here as well. Hi, Laurie. Did I miss Laurie somewhere? I just see Janice said, hi, Laurie. She says, hi, Si. Uh, G uh, Gail says, hi, Si. Hope you got my email. We're going to have to check our emails to check, see an email from GE. I know she was pretty interested in a um, piece of art that we made. Oh, yeah, she wanted a sun catcher, didn't she? I think so. Pretty sure. I'll have to check my emails. Look at that application. So beautiful, Vanna. Thanks. Well done. I love the way you scrape the paint back in the pot. You're just such a... Ecologist with I'm, the paint, it's I'm fantastic. Frugal. Very frugal indeed. Mm. Just got a notice on your phone, it says human recognition warning on the top. Oh, well, it's not wet. <laughs> it is, no. that's the wet one, darling. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, yeah, I moved it, I didn't tell you. I've stained it purple. Oh, bless. Judy said, did you get my sticker? I didn't see if a sticker came up, Judy. Oh, bless your heart. I didn't really want to mention it. Oh, sorry. That was loud. That was loud. We'll just shut the door. That's someone driving past. Um, if, you, uh, if you feel so inclined in the live chat in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little dollar sign. And if you click on that, it will take you to a little secure page with different denominations of stickers and super chats. And it's a way of sending us some money and supporting us. And uh, I think uh, Judy just said, did you get my sticker? I haven't seen it, Judy, and it's not at the top of the chat. So it's a little bit strange, but I should check when we can check the live show back. But thank you so much if you did send a sticker. That's, that's very, very kind of you and greatly, greatly appreciated. Your mum's here, Lynn. Mama hi, Swipe mom. is in. Oh, everyone say hi to Lynn Winans. That's Mama Swipe. That's, that's, uh, that's Sean's mama. Bless. George Ann says, Vanna, you are getting to be an expert. I remember when you were terrified of doing painting on the video. You come <laughs> and she says, you've come a long way, baby. So oh, that's a lot. I'm just going to put some on part of it because it's such a big tool and such a small thing. I was, I was a bit, yeah, concerned. Um, well, not concerned, but I was like, that's a choice, but let's see what you're going to do. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. Go for it. Nice, like it. Oh, bless her. GE just sent us a sticker for $20. GE, go. Wow, that is so very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Mama needs to come pour again, says, says Linda. Absolutely. We'd love Mama to come back and pour again. 
Yes, we would. But GE, thank you so much, Gail. That's so kind of you. Oh, you're going to do another one too? Wow, cute. Why am I ever regretted that? I kind of like the shape you had, but you never know. Yeah. You can't judge it until it's finally done and spun, you know? Love the curve, says Terry. Yeah, it was beautiful, wasn't it? I would love to come back and pour again, says Mama. Oh, of course you would. Bless her heart. Let me just click on that, make sure it's nicely in the focus. No, I'm not happy about the second thing I did. You're not happy about this little bit here? <laughs> well, you could spin it out, see how you feel, then modify it. Right. Or you just want to modify it or what? It's going to do that. No, I'm all, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. I'm it's sure it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Gonna, paint's going to fly. Paint's going to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Messy. Right, okay, so you're going to... Wow, well, look, I can see the colours coming up now, you see. They don't come up immediately with the different colours, but now when we spread, spin the piece and spread the paint, the colours underneath are going to come up and it's going to look rather fabulous, I think. All right, get ready to catch drips. Okay, yeah, I'm ready to catch the drips. Well, we could give it just a little bit more than that. There we go. And I just keep my finger on the edge of the spinner here, guys. And as soon as it catches the paint, it just builds a little wall of paint, so it won't. The drips won't make it to the edge of the spinner and start spattering. Oh my word! Yes. Oh my word! Oh Vanna, <laughs> Vanna, what did you do? Oh, wow! The cell structure here is just sublime. Let's just see if we need to. Give it another little. Yeah. Just another little spin, I think, would be, wouldn't be a bad thing. Make sure I still get it straight. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's just give it one more spin. Oh, oh Vanna. <laughs> I, I really do feel that um, that our beloved uh, our beloved Eureka Bean let's just pop these two bubbles. I really believe our beloved Eureka Bean would approve of this. <laughs> wow. Now we've got these couple of little dots there. Are you digging those or would you like to be able to get rid of those, Vanna? Can't I just do a little... Yeah, this is what we do. If we've got these two little dots that we're not too happy with because the movement... That's good, we can leave this and it will dry like this. So what we do is just get a little toothpick, get a dot of it on the end of the toothpick. Ooh, shaky hand. And you just literally dot. Nice. Yeah. And bingo, they're far less noticeable, if not gone. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, Vanna, that's gorgeous. Let's, um, let's pick it up for the ladies and gentlemen. And uh, let's get some light on that. Look at that. Oh, my word. That's the, uh, that's the um, beautiful uh, pinwheel giving us that beautiful blue there. Oh, the shimmer is just like to die for, Vanna. No, it's better that way. Look at that. I hope that's in focus, guys. Wow. Yeah. Holy wowly. Oh, purple. Okay, I will... Um, there's the little... I thought I got out the little... I don't think you did. No, it's right here. So I will grab this and clean this up and put it away for you, sweetheart. But, oh, gosh. Look, guys. I'm not mad about Look it. Look at it. Oh, Vanna. Look at it. Oh, Vanna. Oh, gorgeous. Even the, <laughs> even the wipe off yeah. from the tool is beautiful. So, guys, we've got to wipe just the edge of the canvas. I want to make sure there's no excess paint dripping off there because that can encourage more of the paint to carry on coming off. It's juicy. It is juicy. It's we need to juicy. scrape and wipe that. Have you yeah. got enough um, paper there, Vanna? No, I'm going to get more. Cool. Oh, Vanna. I know. Oh, Vanna, that piece. It's pretty. Yeah, I believe, I, I, I believe the phrase... <laughs> knocked the ball out of the park is in order on that one. I'm very sure. <coughs> Excuse me. 
the lovely Eureka Bean would love that. So, oh, let's just see what the, let's see what our friends just say here. Uh, my mum would definitely love it, says Daniel. That's fantastic. Oh, bless people, we're just chitty chatting. Oh, Heather says that's stunning. George Ann says wow. Tara says wow. Just gorgeous, says Brit. Tina would be doing a happy dance, says, uh, says uh, Jan Bean. Bless your heart, Jan Bean. The shimmer is beautiful, isn't it, SJ? SJ, did I get it right? Is it Sarah? I'm really sorry if it's not. But yes, the, the, the shimmer is that, that just, oh, it made my jaw drop. Gail says absolutely stunning. Bless her. Linda says outstanding. Fabulously done, Vanna, says Janice. Nelvia, those jelly beans are delicious. Bless. Carl says, Carl says gorgeous shimmer effects. Thank you, Carl. Those cells are huge, right? Aren't they, George Ann? They're gorgeous. That's the um, Rust-Oleum gold mine mixed with the Australian flow troll. It just really makes huge, beautiful cells. That pinwheel shining through looks great. Great colour choices, says TLP. Hi there, TLP. Is it is it Lani or is it Amy maybe this week? I'm not too sure, but whomever it is, thank you guys for being here and your support. It really means the world to us. Thank you, TLP. Your mama says, loving how that blue colour comes through the purple. Right, mama? Oh, and I know you're not a fan of purple, mama, so thank you for watching the show. Oh, Judy, I just saw your, your sticker came through. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you so much, Judy. That's really kind of you. Oh, bless, and our, our admins and our moderators are all thanking her already. Thank you, sweetheart. Vanna, did you, yeah, Danielle says, the tiny bean says, Vanna, you outdid yourself on that one. Well, I even have a purple manicure this week. Yes, you see, okay. purple, purple manicure, purple. everything's purple this week for our dear, beloved Eureka bean. Oh, bless, Linda says, absolutely not to into the stratosphere. Oh, you guys are so kind. <laughs> really? Oh, Denise says, mamma mia. <laughs> oh, Susan, Susan, SJ, it's Susan, I'm sorry. S, uh, SJ, I'm sorry, Susan. Susan, I'm gonna do my best to remember it's Susan. And it's Amy today. Hi, Amy. Hey, crazy tricky mama. Hi there, Amy, how you doing? Thank you, sweetheart. Jodie says, hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Don't be sorry, Jodie. You're here now and that's what matters the most. Lovely to see you. Thank you for being here. Everyone's like, hi, Judy, hi, Judy, hi, Judy. Excellent. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're not messing up your manicure. I was going to do that. It's all right. It's just paint. It comes off. Well, yeah, exactly. It's acrylic. It's just a phew, gone. All right. I'm going to run water for a second. Yep. No worries. Sorry, Sorry guys. Just got to do the little bit of a clean up because... That was a juicy one. That was a little bit juicy, but, you know, we put that amount of pillow down, so... Um, our design in the middle would grow nicely and, and jumbo, cells. jumbo cells like that so yeah I'm not sure um, please let us know um, uh, Danielle would you like that piece or or uh, anybody else if they would but um, let's give first dibs to Danielle <laughs> if she would like that piece that Vanna made I'm sure Vanna wouldn't mind giving that to Danielle at all so let us know Danielle if you'd like it or you can see my one <laughs> and hopefully it will turn out better than last week's. I scraped last week's, so there's no show and tell for me this week because uh, if you caught the show last week, you caught me not at my best, let's say. <laughs> it was a hard day, so I made sure I medicated myself properly last night and slept as well as I could do so I could try and be... The sparkling, shiny person. The Waffle Factory. <laughs> the Waffle Factory. You know, the reason why you guys watch it, because, you know, we're entertaining and oh, I'd like to think we're, you know, ed uh, informative and educate and entertaining. <laughs> Providing a good laugh and a service for you guys on a Saturday afternoon. Okay, so I'm using a round one too. Da -da -da -da. And let's just make sure it's nicely in the frame. Da, da, da. We want to make sure our friends' logos <laughs> are, are clearly visible because they are awesome. Fluid Art Co. This is where we get literally all of the things uh, we use in the show, all of the pigments and our 
colors and things like that. They're an amazing company. They're fairly new. They've been around a couple of years, but they're a small company. And we like supporting small companies, especially small companies like Fluid Art Co, who make and do TLP, this little piggy, uh, because they have one of the most amazing customer services uh, ethics I have ever, ever witnessed. So they're fantastic. So that's why we endorse them. And we give them shouts out and we, we plug them in their stuff because they're absolutely awesome. Uh, let, oh yeah, I've got to do it that way. There we go, there's the heart. Love you, little piggy. Thank you very much. So, my colors. Oh yes, I didn't show you my colors. Da, 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 da. We're going for it a little bit. I'm trying out a color palette for a commission. So, we are using the fantastic Nightfall by this little piggy. And then we're gonna put down this one for a fantastic contrast. This one is Mango by this little piggy. Then we're putting down a chew paint. This is the Liquitex uh, Prism Violet and this is the uh, gouache. So it's semi-opaque. So we're gonna be able to, we're gonna be able to see it nicely. Then for another contrast, we're putting this down. This is TLP Wave. It's the uh, fluorescent blue. And then we're putting on oh, another beautiful purple. This one's called Crescendo by TLP. It's this fantastic, gorgeous purple color that has this kind of a purpley blue lavender shift to it kind of thing. It really is quite amazing. And then the last kind of purple we're putting down is purple. It's a violet, but uh, this is the, uh, the fluorescent violet and this is the gouache from Liquitex. Okay, so those are our colors a rather purple fest. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing, use the, uh, what we know as the Winterstrom color technique. I'm not sure if she was the first one to do it. You know, I'm not laying claim or, or anything like that, but she was the first uh, person that I saw do it. And then I saw Shelley laying the colors down with a big palette. And I just thought that sounds like a fantastic idea. And it's fun to do. Yeah, it's really zen, it's great. So how is everybody in the live chat? Chatty, no questions, nothing like that? There was one, I answered it. Fantastic, of course you did, Vanna. I think that might be enough. Yes, that's enough. Yes. When you think that's enough, it usually is. Especially because you're gonna paddle down tons of paint. Because we're gonna put down a few ounces of paint on this, exactly. So, let's just tip this around a little bit. Get it even. Da, 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 da. How's yours looking, Vanna? It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous, honestly. It's the, you know, purple and gold, you know, just go together so beautifully, so well. It's bougie. It can be bougie, yes, exactly. So let me just make sure you know how I like getting things straight nicely. We are, we are focused and everything like that. So let's just move this paint around a little bit. So it's on the edge. Now I can see we've got a bit more on this side than we do that side, so we do need just to tip it over. There we go, so it's a more even coverage, because if we've got more paint on one side than we do the other, when we spin it, that one side with more paint is gonna move further than the other. Okie dokie, so yeah, now the fun part of applying the colors. So we are going to go, first of all, with the fantastic uh, uh, constellation. No, nightfall. <laughs> Sorry, Sean used constellation, so we're going to use the fantastic nightfall. Now, there's about an ounce of paint in here, maybe just a little bit more or less. But when we start pouring, we want to start, you go move quickly and then start moving more slowly so you get a more even coverage of the colour. I'm even going to go back a little bit like that. See so if you pour a bit too fast you end up with more of it on this side and then you do the other side. So what I'm going to do is just put another little bit on this side and then just gently pour there you go on this side so there's a little more paint and it's a little bit more even in the coverage. Now, this is what Vanna was doing off, color, off camera, which is I thought was really clever. Just scraping the excess back into the, back into the pot. Oh, Vanna, 
Oh, it's okay. I think I've got some. Yeah, I got. Oh no, I didn't put down a new paper towel for you. Oh, you didn't put down a new. Oh god, how dare you! Rude. Rude. Here we go. Let's get a paper towel. Could you do me a favour, sweetheart? Just yeah. move your paints just, just slightly out of the way a little bit. Would be great. Okay, so we've got to clean our paddle each time, guys, because obviously. We don't want to mix the paints up. We want to mix them up on the canvas and nowhere else. Okay then, so I am going to, uh, yeah, just in case it's splatter, you know what I mean? Just, I'm going to move this around this way and then I'm going to pour the colors in alternate directions. So if we do happen to get a bit more on one side than we do the other, they're kind of going to be even. So there we go, this is the beautiful mango. So start to pour, move quickly, and then move slowly. Oh, those colors. Gosh, such a contrast, isn't it? There we go. I might just add another little bit more on the other side just to get it more even. As oh, we yeah, said before. Jessica Winterstrom in the chats today. Sorry? She's here. Jess Jessica's in the chat. Yeah. Wow, Jessica, hi. Well, I hope we're doing you proud. <laughs> uh, hi and welcome. Now all of it, look at my hand. Now, now my hand is shaking. Oh, oh bless your heart. Jessica. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Frosty's flustered. Frosty's now flustered. Hi, Jessica. Thank you. Take a deep breath. Yes, take a deep breath. Jessica's a lovely person. Thank you so much. Wow, Jessica. An incredible artist. Let's just say, I'm pretty sure everybody in the live chat already knows and follows Jessica. But anyone that's watching the show back, uh, if you don't know who Jessica Winterstrom is, please search her channel out on YouTube and follow her because she is one of, in my opinion, she is absolutely one of my uh, acrylic pouring hero gods. I get a lot of inspiration. From <laughs> Lots of inspiration from watching her videos. Okay, guys. So that was the uh, that was the gouache. I'm just going to put a bit more down there in the middle. The um, the uh, prism prism violet gouache from Liquitex. And we are using just a plastic bench scraper kitchen tool. Yes. To apply this. Yep. You can also use just like the cheap. Tools you get from the hardware store for applying plaster or Bondo, multi-use. Or if you're doing really large pieces, we saw someone... Oh, a dustpan. Dustpan, yeah. yeah, that was really cool, actually. Really great colour application with that dustpan. Okay, now we're going with the beautiful, fantastic... Look at this. It's the Rave by TLP. And this is the one that is um, UV reactive. And here we go. Now this one is, it does say that it's, uh, it's opaque. And yes, it is, it can be. But don't forget, we're putting opaque pigments, we're mixing them with uh, an ounce of transparent pouring medium. So they will become semi-opaque uh, unless you put lots and lots and lots of pigment in them, in which case they will be solid opaque and this will blot out the colours below, which is not really what we kind of want. So I made sure I didn't put a lot of pigment in it, a lot of the rave pigment. So it's hopefully just going to give us some great, lovely, uh, great, lovely haloing effects to some cells. But waffle, waffle, waffle. Next one we're putting down, this is the fantastic, this is the Crescendo by... I love that. Oh, it's just oh. the most amazing colour. Beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. Move quickly, move slowly. Get a nice even coverage. I think that one's definitely in my top three piggies. Right now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah? Yeah. It's doing for you, is it? It's doing it for you, so is it, Vanna? It is a... Fantastic colour, it really is. And over the top of that rave, the that blue, it should be that pretty. Hopefully, it's gonna make something pretty. Hopefully. And that's that's all we can hope for. 
because you never know until you try these things. It's always a surprise until after you spin it. Exactly, <laughs> you can never judge it until you've spun it and things like that, but color palettes you look at that you think, that's never gonna work. Surprise. And it's never like, say never. Never say never, you can never say never. Because see, I've just got a few little bubbles in that, so I'm just gonna get rid of those. Now the last one we're putting down, this is the fantastic fluorescent opera pink by uh, Liquitex, the gouache. And again, it's semi-opaque, but I mixed not a lot of it in with the... Fluorescent violet. What did I say? Opera pink. Sorry, this is fluorescent violet. I'm really sorry. I, uh, I didn't mix that much. Well, you know, it is semi-opaque, but again, because we're mixing it, with so much transparent pouring medium, you can, it, you know, make it semi-opaque. And uh, hopefully I did so. And it's not gonna blot out all the colors below. But those are our six colors, guys. Oh, wow. The cloth that I've been using to wipe the paddle with is actually really pretty. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. So, if the cloth is looking good, <laughs> let's hope this is going to come out all right. So, I'm just going to do a kind of little whooshy, swooshy design here. Now, I'm not going to try and do the scoop and drags because Jessica is just... Well, I, we need more practice. She makes it look... You make it look so easy, Jessica. She made it look so easy that I watched a video and I was like, oh, I totally got this. And then we tried it and, and it's like... And it's it like, no, <laughs> no, we don't got that at all. But that's, that's the thing, and sorry, you know, Jessica, not, you know, meaning to, you know, blow smoke up your butt for a better expression, but yes, yeah, she's incredibly talented and very good at what she does. That's why it looks so incredibly easy. You know, when you're good at things, that's how they come out. Okay, guys, so let's go in a little bit closer now. Ding, ding, ding. I hope that's nicely and sharp, bing, bing. So I'm just gonna go for a little movement of the spinner whilst I do my little, uh, my, my little thing here. So I'm gonna go. Ooh. That's cool. Well, it was different, wasn't it? <laughs> Everything went silent for a second. You were holding your breath. I'm holding my breath very much. So we've got some great stuff here. So I'm just going to do another little one there using a smaller tool. And um, when I was practicing uh, this, and after we found out Vanna's was, uh, Vanna's cracked because it was too thick and I was playing with this. Um, I was playing with the scoop and drag here. And as you can see, I was scooping up too much pillow and it's very difficult to do. But the composition of this with just the black before I started and scooping and dragging it was so beautiful. I wish I'd left it now, but we live and we learn. So anyway, these are some very pretty little cells here. So let's just get a bit more of the gold cell activator on a smaller knife. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Gosh, those colors are incredible. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Like that. Now, I don't know if that might have ruined it or not, but again, you can't judge it, guys, until we spin it out and we see. Now, I know people would love to do some scoop and drag. You see, now, this happened, guys, if you, this, this happened here, you've got these beautiful cells here with the white, because the white pillow, showing, uh, this is Glidden Premium Satin White, makes a fantastic cell, cell activator completely on its own. If you just use it, it works great. It's really quite strange. Now, I want to play with this a little bit. Do it. Just gently drag it out. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's what I wanted, just a bit more shape to it. Now, I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, a little bit too far, almost blew into the pillow there. But you know me, I like... Just... I can't help blooming. <laughs> so... I'm for, right, I really want to keep this area here. So I'm going to tip it this way first. Bingo. So we've got more here. 
but hopefully it should still all move because we've got a good amount of paint on there and we've got a good amount of, um... oh! What'd you forget? <sighs> I completely forgot to cover it in either the purple or the oh, black. Oh, it's still gonna be beautiful. Yeah, it's covered, it's covered in the gouache, in the pink. Damn, I meant to cover it, of course, I forgot the last step, covering it in the paint. It's still going to be pretty. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> so we've learned something here. Don't forget that there's steps in the paint. Now, I'm wondering if I should just maybe modify a few of these bits. Do it. Just to add a bit of interest, maybe. Why not? Come on. Crash bang. Crash bang. Goodbye, light ring. <laughs> I'm going to pull this bit out like that. I'm also going to maybe... I don't know, should I do a little all the way down there. What are they saying in the live chat? Leave it alone, spin it, moderate, uh, modify it. Everyone's holding their breath. Everyone's holding their breath. Yeah. Uh, didn't quite work yeah, as we wanted to. You're only really gonna keep like that part. It's of only it. gonna be the middle bit, yeah, it's really, so. It's gonna really stretch. Okay, here we go then, guys. Let's just spin it and see. And as you can see, because we tilted it one way, a lot more paint has come off one side than the other. But this is what we wanted oh, to happen. Oh, it's so pretty. I can tell already. Beautiful. Oh, just such a shame I pulled up the white pillow oh, there. I'm mad about that. Critical, critical, critical. Yeah. But I'm glad we've kept this bit because this bit was really pretty. I like this bit. Tip it. See if we can get more off. Yeah, it's moving. That's beautiful. Excellent. Okay, guys. Oops, oops. It's not very straight. I hope that was in focus, guys. I'm so sorry. There we go. Okay, let's give it one more spin. Hopefully we can get off some more of that white pillow. Yeah, we did. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, now I'm happier with that. Much happier with that. I'm loving this yeah. that's happening here. Gorgeous. But then this lovely kind of like just abstracty swipey part to it. Here we go, guys. So let's get you a little close up. Da, 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 da. Here we go. There's a beautiful crescendo there, giving us that lovely violet color. Let's try and get the light ring on that side so you can see. I hope you're getting a good view. I prefer banners. <laughs> Absolutely, I, I prefer banners. So we've not got much movement at all right there. Well, mine didn't quite work out how I had hoped, but as I said, I completely forgot to put the final layer of paint across for gosh sake, darndest. I guess I just get too excited <laughs> with doing it. And as I'm waffling, I went and forgot because Banner's paints are just over there with the black and with the purple for me to have oh, covered that completely. Away, well, no, it's no, you took it away. I, you know, I could have remembered to say, hey, hang on, I need to cover it with the Amsterdam. But here we go, guys. Now you've learned that when you're doing that Jessica Winterstrom application technique, if you don't put that final coat of Amsterdam right. colour paint, yeah. um, and I had used uh, the uh, Liquitec gouache, the fluorescent the top, yeah. uh, violet, um, it still kind of works very similarly, but as you can see, you can see the violet is over the blue here and stuff. And uh, even though it's semi-opaque, again, because we mixed it with an ounce of transparent pouring medium, you do bust down its opacity so you can see further through it. But let's just pick this little puppy up and let's just pick this little, give this little puppy a clean. And this is the thing, guys, when you make something, the way I paint is I paint something and, you know, if, if I don't love it instantly, I will probably scrape it and paint over it. But usually I let them dry and then see how I feel. But um, there we go. This is quite pretty. But I see how I feel and, uh, you know, if I'm not feeling it, I just paint, paint straight over it. Well, just pour straight over it. It is actually it's quite very, pretty. It's very unique. It's different yeah. for a frosty, yeah. really. But um, yeah, maybe I could have uh, swiped a different way or something like that. But again, we 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 are all learning. This is a learning show where you watch us 
do stuff live. Sometimes we get a chance to practice it, sometimes we don't, sometimes we forget vital steps, but that then gives us a really great insight into the effects we will get when you don't do that final step, you know, but I'm loving Vanners. I really feel, I'm gonna put this over here. You're bringing mine back. <laughs> And we're definitely bringing Vanners back for another it's look. It's electric. It is. I mean, look at Vanners. Look at it. I, I, I am speechless. It is absolutely gorgeous. Those purples, the The purples, the, the backlit. It looks like oh, there's a light behind it. It, it just yeah. looks incredible. No, so yeah, it looks backlit is because the reason why it looks so good and these colours are so vibrant and they'll dry this vibrantly is because the colours are either semi-opaque or semi-transparent, and we're putting them on a white pillow. So you're able to see through them, and with the white pillow, that makes the most of these semi-opaques and semi-transparents. But then when we put... Oh, Jessica, <laughs> Jessica likes her painting. It's beautiful, isn't it, Jessica? She did Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for the ins yeah. inspiration, Jessica, absolutely. Gosh, it's so beautiful. But yeah, when you cover it with the, uh, with, with the Amsterdam paint at the end, Magic uh, things happen. Magic things happen because it just, look at the cell structure. It's just, that's so beautiful. Oh, I want to bite it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not, I wasn't able to read the comments. I'm not sure if. Everybody loves them both. Let's. Yes, but if Daniel wanted yours, maybe. So do you do any resin painting? He covers art in resin. I don't know exactly what you mean by resin painting. As in putting, hang on, let me come back. Whoa, oh no. Oh well. Did it get a damage? I just mushed the edge of my painting. Oh, it's just the edge, that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you can't do anything about it. Do I do any resin painting? As in, um, where you put pigment in the resin and then paint with that, I guess their meaning. Um, you can make some beautiful seascapes and things like that mm. when you put pigments in resin. Um, no, I haven't done any resin painting in that kind of respect, if that's what you meant. Yeah, paint in resin, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I haven't, uh, haven't had a chance or free time to be able to do something like that and play around with it. Also, resin up here in Canada uh, is fairly expensive and, um, excuse me, a, um, a tricky one to work with because it, it, it can be very toxic. So um, it's not something I've had a chance to play with much other than just simply uh, covering, covering, uh, covering my art in resin. Who asked the question? Jody. Hi, Jody. Thank you, Hi, darling. Yeah. No, I haven't done much, uh, much actual kind of resin art as, as such, let's say. I would love to try it. I have some of this uh, fantastic piggy paste, which you uh, put in the resin and then use with a heat gun. And, uh, it, uh, and you can use it to create the most beautiful wave effects when you're doing those resin beach scenes, which I've seen so many people do so beautifully. And again, yes, it's something that I would love to try, but uh, I'm sure many of us can relate that uh, uh, still have jobs and stuff. <laughs> Free time is a very valuable commodity and something that none of us have enough of, really, I would say. But excuse the camera angle while I'm just wiffle waffling and chatting and just cleaning this up. Uh, Vanna's tapping away, so I guess she is answering any questions nicely. Is there anyone we need to give a shout out to or anything like that, my dear? 35 people in the live chat right now. Wow, 35 people. Yeah. Oh, guys, sincerely, genuinely, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. That absolutely means the world to us, and I'm sure it, it means a great deal to darling Danielle. And um, obviously, you know, as I said before, Tiny Bean is absolutely with us watching oh, this. Uh, sorry, Tiny Bean. Eureka Bean is yeah. with us watching this right now, and I'm sure she... I'm sure she loves yours more than mine anyway, but yeah, just Stop kind of... saying that. <laughs> well, I'm not just being contest. I'm just being honest. I really love yours. I mean, mine's not too bad, but I mean, come on, Vanners was Vanners was excellent because 
<laughs> why, why, why was Vanna so much prettier than mine, do I think? It's because Vanna followed the proper recipe and she did it properly. And she covered, sorry guys, moving the camera around. Uh, and she covered her colours with the Amsterdam paint that you're supposed to do, which really helps your cell activator well, I'm fairly hold good up. At swiping. And you're fairly good at swiping, exactly, yeah. my darling. Yeah, exactly. So, um, I don't know. If I, I don't even want to get mine back out and show you mine again. Oh, it's not too bad. It's, it's so growing pretty. on me. It's got some great weird yeah. movement to it. So. I don't know. Yourself, it's gorgeous. There we go. Excellent lesson, guys. You know, before you scrape something or before you know. Daniel you... wants them. You can't scrape it. <laughs> Daniel, you, yeah. you would like them. Would you like them both, Daniel? Yes. Then they are yours, my darling. We'll, we will. I'm pretty sure I've got your address. I'm pretty sure we must have. We've sent you uh, some, some art before, Daniel. But uh, uh, we'll DM each other and uh, I'll get your address. And when they're dry. Um, I'll coat them in resin for you if you want them resin. Oh yes. Or we'll send them as is, as ever you, uh, however you'd like. That but that purple one I did needs resin. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take some photographs of that one you did because it's absolutely fantastic. So we've got a little bit of paint left. We didn't quite use well, all quite of it. Paint left. Okay, so. Do you want to bash out another one? So, so how do people feel in the live chat? Well, 33 people, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate your support. Paint again says rainbow bean. Rainbow bean always says paint again. <laughs> you can never paint enough for darling rainbow bean, bless her heart. But how is everybody else feeling? Have they got anything else to do? Should we shut it just down now at just about the hour? You know, leave you wanting more rather than waffle on and go on because I have seen that sometimes when our lives go far over an hour, they're kind of people... Tiny, are, tiny bean wants another one and it's, it's her show. Tiny Bean wants another one, then Tiny Bean shall get another Rainbow picture. Rainbow Bean wants a hot dog. Rainbow Bean wants a hot dog, of course she does. <laughs> <laughs> when doesn't Rainbow Bean want a hot dog? <laughs> Bless her heart. Oh dear, and I've just said, wow, the stickers you guys have sent. Thank you so much, guys. That's so amazingly kind of you. It really, every, every penny helps right now. I know a few of you might have seen, you know, the pictures of our house on the social media and things like that. And we do have a very large house. It's really beautiful. We're very fortunate. Um, and we've also got kind of rental properties, uh, like a basement in, in the house. So it, we've got mortgage helpers, but to play the world's smallest violin, we lost both of our tenants this spring. So, which Vanna and I have been running in mud literally the whole time trying to we'll be okay. pay the bills and catch up and things like that. So little things like you guys sending stickers. Very helpful. Very helpful and also helps us with the shipping when we send things like that, like uh, these pieces of art out to people. So, okay, well, let's do another one. Who do you write? They want to see Vanna do another one for, surely, come on. So don't you want redemption? I want redemption. Yeah. Oh, what, so my last piece wasn't very good. No, but you want to paint again when you don't... When I'm not loving what we've really got. Yeah, absolutely. So what we could do is we could, uh, we could try again on this little small eight inch one. And, uh, and let's put the colors down properly and let's put the color down on the top before we do the swipe then, ladies and gentlemen, shall we? June, can I come rent it from you? <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful place to live up here. It is really nice up here on the mountain, June. It's a lovely, lovely place to live. Okay, guys, so let's just do another one then. Why the heck not? So let's get the camera pointing down. More purple. More purple. You can never have enough purple. Awesome, let's just click on the screen so make sure it's there. Perfect, okay. So, Vanna, are you going to go? Do you want to do it? No, no, give her. You, you're going to stay in the live chat yeah. saying, saying howdy do's to everyone? Yeah. Brilliant. So, here we go. That's a nice, generous amount of paint. When you can use up the uh, purple for the top that you didn't use before, or the black. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All the purple. Yeah. Because I don't think you used quite all of it, did you? I did use all no. of any of my paints. Yeah. Lots of paint left over. Ah, wow, perfect. And do it again. So we could have possibly don't use the 13 inch canvases. Yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It's still very pretty. We like this. Why? Right. Okay, so let's just move this out a bit. Oh, I can see a, see a goober in there. Right there. Get out, you. There it is. Just mush you away. Da, 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 da. Let's just tip the paint around. 
Ooh, pretty good tilting. Not too bad. I know, it's one of your favourite parts, it really isn't it? It is, yeah. So then we just got to tilt it back, guys. So we've got a nice even coverage. And then with the help of my fantastic Fluid Art Co. Poor Matt, that we had a little hand in designing, we can uh, really easily uh, centre our pieces. And um, more importantly, it's really good because if when you need to spin off centre, so you know you you want to lose more one side of a picture more than the other, we all the when you just did. all the lines really help you centre your pieces so you get nice even spins. Oops. Oh no. Oops, he says as he points out to Vanna that there's a load of mess on the floor. Thank you. Bingo. Okay then, so let's try and do this a little more properly. Now we've not got quite the same amount of paint, so we're gonna have to get out every last little drop. Now bear with this when I do this, my friends. So now we're gonna have to move a bit quicker. You could always do a split paddle. A split paddle, what, colors on one side, colors on the other? No rules, there's no rules to this. Oh, thank you, Tiny Bean. You shouldn't have done that. What did Tiny she Bean do? A oh, Tiny Bean, sweetheart, thank you, darling. We've still got a little bit of paint left, but not really enough to use. Maybe all the bits I'll throw on a, throw on a bit of silicone mat and maybe make a, um, Make a bloom at the end or something like that. Okay guys, so this is gonna have to bear with me while I scrape the bottoms and get all of the paint out that I can with these. Excellent, there we go. Beautiful. That's the that's the horizon. I'm gonna use any of yours. Um, I was just gonna use these actually. Okay. I want to go this way with this one. Just focus it in the middle if you don't have much, because that's the only part you keep. Anyway. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Awesome. Let's give it a little wipe so it's clean. Gosh, I love purple and orange together. Oh, just aren't they just so fabulous? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got lots of that. Oh, yeah, I didn't quite put a lot of that on, did I? Oh, and there's more on one side than there is the other, so let's... Here we go. That's a nice bit, because all we want is the bit in the middle. Awesome. Okay, dokie. Oh, did someone else send a sticker? No, it's, it's still the same one. Oh, bless. Bless the heart. I just, sorry, I just looked just over it. Yeah. I looked over at Vanna's phone and I saw that there was a, <coughs> saw that there was a sticker yeah, in the live chat. Bless your heart. Thank you so much for sending that. So, let's hope we make something nicer with this one. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous. So, da -da -da, da -da 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 Are you serenading us for you drizzle paint? Oh yeah, that was Strangers in the Night, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you need that back. Need Sorry. Part just to scrape it back quick. in. There we go. Keep these up, like, because we could... I hate wasting the paints and we could just do something funny or silly with those last little bits, you know, make a bloom or something, I don't know. I'm just a very frugal <laughs> acrylic pourer. Okay, last couple of colours. Before we remember to put the Amsterdam paint on. I'll, I'll take it out for you. Before we then do the swiping. 
Oh God, I love that color. It is rather beautiful, isn't it? Yep. It's just like, oh, could I have the stick first, please? I'm smitten with Thank it. you, darling. Just gonna kind of get it, help it to the edge. So it pours a little better, there we go. Black one and like scooped down to get oh, yeah. to get it. Yeah, there you go. That's the ticket right there. Oh, did it too soon, a bit too much there, That's but okay. that was a good idea, Vanna. Well done. There we go. Yeah, to help that last bit off. The paints do feel a little bit on the thick side to me, but you know, what can we do? Right now, it's the Fluorescent violet for um, a liquid tax. There we go. There we go. That was a Perfect. that was a great application. Nailed it. Nailed that one. Awesome. point to do with my assisting. You, you guys can't see behind the scenes, oh, but... Vanna is just absolutely I'm, I'm killing it. Killing it back here. Okay, I'm going to use the black, not the purple. So there you go. Look, you can see the black, guys, is a little more thinner. And pours a little nicer. So maybe our colours could have been just a little bit thinner too. But as we saw, Vanna's results, absolutely fantastic. And where we put this layer of, of paint over all of our colors, this layer of Amsterdam, this is the oxide black, I think. Mm -hmm. when, when we do our, oh yeah, little, bubbles. Uh, some bubbles in there. Bubbles. Bubbles. Right, so again, I'm just going to do I want to use this one again? Yes, I'm going to use that one again. I'm just going to try it and use it a little better. So here we go with our gold cell activator. Not a ton of it, but, you know, fairly generous. Oh, it's a bit much. So what we can do now is just hold it down like this and let it drip off the point. Hope that's in. Yeah, that's nicely in shot. You can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Here we go, so, you know, we don't need to go crazy with the cell activator. Maybe that still is too much. No. Anyway, but I'm gonna go for it with a, right. What, I had a lovely effect where I did this. So I'm gonna go. There we go. Just need to take a little more care and thought about what you're doing. Do we have the bottle of Rust-Oleum in here? Yes, we do. Give that a flash on the camera. Oh, I shall give that a flash on the camera. Here we go, my friends. This is the Rust-Oleum Gold Mine. It's the Metallic Accents. Uh, I don't believe it's available in Australia. I've had people ask me and they've tried to get it. But um, in Canada, we get it in Home Depot and they sell these big jars of it. But in the States, they also sell it as well. I know it's available. But there may be some companies online that sell it and willing to ship to Ooh, countries that it's not available. Amazon. But yeah, it works absolutely beautiful as a cell activator. As you can see right here. Ooh. That's gonna be so pretty. I'm not gonna do a thing to this. I'm loving that happening there. I'm loving this happening here. And like I said, on the other one, I started to play with the scoop and drags and I wish I'd just left it because I was really loving how it was looking. So let's just move this over a little bit. And hell, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, no, nope. stop blowing on it. <laughs> It's just wet the edges, because on these dry canvases, the paint likes to flow over a wet edge a lot better than a dry edge. Da, 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 this da, da. is gonna be stunning. I, I, I have a better feeling about this one. Thank you guys for saying, do another one, do another one. So let's go in nice and close so you can see. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. Wow, these beautiful cells that are popping up here. Ooh, ooh. 
We are loving, we are loving. Okay, spinny time. Just keeping my finger on the corner, catching those drips. Oh, wow. The cover, the blacks cover beautifully. Oh, uh, <laughs> yay. Oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hope Jessica's still watching. <laughs> Jessica, did we? Did I make you proud? Yes, <laughs> Bless. Oh wow! The, oh wow! Right. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> Has everybody got a nice clear shot of this in 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 focus? Do I need to pick it up and bring it closer? Is it nice? Tell us in the live chat, guys. I can see there's a couple of bubbles. Oh my word, let's just check the movement. Oh, it's hardly moving. Oh, it's still, it, no. Where is it moving? Do you see it move? In the middle. Oh, that's ever so slightly. I, I am, don't want it to crack, it's so pretty. No, but I don't want to spin it anymore because I don't want to lose. Let me just pick this up so you guys look at this bit at the bottom here. I don't think I've created anything so dreamy and pretty for such a long time that I've instantly seen the beauty in. I mean, wow, look at the... I'm trying to get the light. Gosh, that's beautiful. Oh. Oh, Jessica, I'm so happy. <laughs> we actually did she proud and made something that was looking good. And I'm just going to give it another little torch because there were some bubbles in it and where there's some bubbles in the paint you can see there might be you might be able to see there's a couple of little spots of color in the I black like here those. I like them no I love them I think it just adds you know oh and the way the black is holding this cell activator is just yes I am very very happy and you can just see a couple more little bubbles get rid of those Bingo. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you for telling me to carry on and do another one. No, I'm going to leave this as it is. So you'll be happier for the rest of the day now. Well, yeah, you know, it's, it's a miracle what happens when you get some good sleep and, you know, what happens to your uh, demeanor for the day. I'm having trouble picking this up. Oh, yeah, look at it. It's just sliding around. Yeah, it is. Here, let me help you from this side. Hang on. Oh, shit. Sugar, was that, Vanna? Yeah. Right, hang on, I got it. Sorry. When it's stuck like this, guys, a good trick is you get one knife on one side here just to hold it, and then with the knife on this side, that's when you then just gently pick it up and get it to a point where it's not... I put a little mark on the edge of it. It's totally fine. Oops. Doesn't matter, I can cover that with black. So let's just wipe these edges. We need to wipe the edges, of course. Stop it. Stop it pulling the paint off itself there. And let's just pull the camera up a little bit. There we go. And I can show you it. So there you go, guys. Wow. I hope Eureka Bean likes this one. I hope she's happy with it. Gosh, it's so beautiful. And this is the way I was viewing it. So. I mean, look at the peacock cells we've got there. Look at that bullseye cell right there in the middle. Look at it. And the bullseye cells are where the colours perfectly ring each other all the way through the actual... Tiny Bean wants all of these. <laughs> Tiny Bean, are you cl laying claim to this one too, Danielle? Well, absolutely then, my dear. It is yours as well. <laughs> I believe that, uh, you know, really, uh, for the, you know, with the show, intended purpose of the show, Danielle should absolutely get first dibs on whatever gets created right here. Now, bless her. Sean, Vanna did accidentally just touch the corner there. Now, we can fix this if we're careful with a clean knife and just a little bit of black. See, we've got a little bit of black here on the edge. Well, it's actually a little bit of colour, but I'm just going to... I'm sorry I did that. Don't worry. Just going to touch it. And then, bingo. There you go, hardly noticeable, no real big deal, no muss, no fuss. The picture still looks absolutely beautiful. Oh dear, it is actually... It's moving. It is actually still moving. 
I'm not sure. I think I, I might. Yes, you see, we've got a lot of movement on this side. I think I need to spin it again. Can we put it back down on all this paint? No, okay, here, because, well, it for a second? hang on, let's just. <laughs> You hold it for a second, Vanna. Yeah, it's moving off every edge. I didn't spin it enough. And when I was holding it and showing you guys, it started to move. So let's just quickly clear this up. Because if we put that down on a wet spinning board and spin it, it is just literally going to... It's gonna fly. Fly away. And we, oh, and we don't want it to fly away. So let me just... Da, da, da. That over there. Give this a quick wipe. Da, da, da. I love you holding it in the frame oh. so people can look at it. <laughs> Brilliant. That's it. Just dry this nicely. There we go. Just move it over a little bit. Get it in the middle. And we're going to have to give this another spin, unfortunately. We're going to lose a little bit more of the compo. But Just a gentle spin. There we go. That's all we need to do. And you know me, guys, I like to leave my spins for just a little longer. There we go. Beautifully. We've got great coverage over all the edges now. Yep, it needed the second spin. I was too eager, but here we go, guys. After the second spin, we lost a little bit of the bottom there, obviously, and we lost a little bit of the top here. But still. it's still... Very, very. Tara Perry, can you blow the edges instead of spinning? We need to move all of the paint to thin it across the whole canvas. So, so spinning is what you need to spin, do. Uh, spinning is really good idea because it evenly um, stretches the paint over the canvas. The other alternative you can do, Tara, if you don't have a spinner, is uh, you tilt. Yeah. So you just tilt all the paint off that you don't actually want. So I'm just fixing the edges here, guys, where... The paint just needs a little bit of help making it over the edges. But that's all great. This is all great, lovely. And this just needs is a little bit of... We'll post lots of pictures of these on the Acrylic Crazy Train so you guys can admire them. Yes, yes we shall. Okay, so... There we go. Yeah, it really needed spinning again. I should have... Should have listened to Vanna and she said it's moving. I'm like, oh, not that much. It was so pretty as it was, but it's still pretty. It's still very pretty, but you as we just learned, guys, you gotta gotta get the excess off because otherwise cracks. It can crack. We might have been lucky, but with something that's come out as prettily as this, I mean look at the uh, cells over the edges. Look at that. Absolutely just beautiful. And then obviously look at the light on it. Wow. Thank you so much, guys, for persuading me to make another one. Can you give me four of those little... Um... That's it, darling, so I can sit it on something and it can dry nicely. Awesome. So let me just deal with this. Put it somewhere safe because it's ever so gorgeous. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. <sighs> Judy wants you to paint another one for her. <laughs> one for Misa. She wanted that painting. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, Judy Degisi? Yep. Yeah, she wanted it. And I hope I pronounced your name properly, uh, Judy. Degisi? Uh, Degisi? I'm sorry if I, if I pronounced it wrong and butchering, butchering your second name. Rainbow, we have to go back to work. Yes, Rainbow, <laughs> darling, I'm sorry. We've got so much work on at the moment. And when we were ill for that month with COVID, our work schedule has gone absolutely mental. And thankfully, we have a wonderful friend called Nessa, who is working with us and helping us. And bless her. We left her behind. She's we, still at work. She's, at the, she's at the job. <laughs> Let me just hang on, guys. One second. She's at the job as we speak right now. Working for us, Vanessa, helping us. Judy says you said her name correctly. I said it, Degisi. Yeah. Degisi, fantastic. I love it when I actually, you know, don't butcher people's names <laughs> and me correcting. Yeah. Hang on, guys, I'm very sorry. I've just got to clean my hands up because I'm covered in paint and I can't touch the phone. No, you can't. While true. I'm covered in paint. So, one second, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Bing, 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 here we go. Hi, hi. <laughs> so wasn't that fantastic? Come here, my darling Vanna. Oh, the phone is moving around a bit. There we go. So guys, thank you so much for joining us again for our memorial show in memory of the darling, fantastic Eureka Bean, uh, Tina, uh, uh, Tina Wheaton, the beloved mother and beloved friend of ours, supporter of the show. Uh, and this was uh, dedicated to her and her joy and her love of purples. And I think we've done her some proud. Did, yeah. <laughs> so we'll let these dry and uh, we'll get them coated in resin and we'll get them sent off to you, Danielle. So a huge thank you to everybody, all of the OG beans, everybody that supports us, everybody that watches the show back. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. Thank you so much for those generous stickers that everybody sent. And I hope we did, uh, I hope we did you proud, Danielle. And, um, uh, and it was a nice, happy, positive time and a celebration in your amazing mum's life. Okay, so we've got to go back to work. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And as always, happy pouring. Mwah. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next show.